Good morning, folks. Let's start off positively. I imagine I'm not alone in supporting the Romanian people, eyeing the end of the drilling moratorium with suspicion. Good images and article status update on U.S. wildfires. Primary concern this weekend is tropical development in the Gulf of Mexico. If a big one develops, either the jet stream will yank it across Florida into the Atlantic, or the jet stream will venture north, sucking the low back into Texas. Eyes open, folks. If you can't find the 6.6 .6 quake this morning, it was universally downgraded to a 5.9. We also had a 5.1 on those Alaskan islands and the southern mid-Atlantic ridge took a moderate tremor. We are approaching two straight weeks, 1400 every day the multi-line induction variation ascends without an explanation or apparent space weather genesis. Around 1600 yesterday, we saw what we'd normally say is an anomaly, except that this magnetospheric disturbance was accompanied by ionospheric absorption, the red spike, indicating solar plasma broke through our defenses. Look at that solar wind. Density is now steadily on the high ambient range. Charged particle bombardment on Ovation Prime shows mild to moderate levels. You can see the dark coronal hole up top. We do have more on the south, but the going concern is the big guy swinging in for another round. I bet tomorrow's news gives us our first images. Let's not forget the plasma filaments, which are not good at sitting still. That luckily will sail just south of Earth. And another lucky break, the parting sunspot over the right side pumped out a big CME as well. To end the show, this is the critical frequencies in the F2 layer, the blue, and the F1 layer, the red. Critical frequency is the highest frequency propagation that can be skipped off that layer without passing right through it, but also indicates ionization status of that level. Now just focus on the red, 1999 when the data began. Next year, still normal, going one year at a time to last solar maximum here. Still looking good, looks normal. And then nearing the end of this shockingly long solar minimum, you see it begin to change. The red, the F1 layer is becoming way over ionized, even when compared with last solar maximum, we're way above it. In my opinion, this is as good a evidence for solar system change as anything. Better look outside this planet for a cause. That's the news, folks. Be safe, everyone.